Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this hack test that I saw on Pinterest, I think. So you're supposed to put this on your tip of your nail and it gives you a perfect line. We'll see about that. I'm wearing press-on nails. These are the kinds that I'm using if you're curious about them. But them at Target and I've been loving them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each one of these into two. So I have five. I'm just going to place them as I can best. And I would suggest you to use a clear or transparent band-aids because it's going to be easier to just know where to place them. My nails, the ones that I'm using, have like the French tape in them already, but I just still wanted to give it a try. It's kind of hard to, to just know where to place them, but hopefully this is good. What you hear is my uh, oil diffuser, so hopefully it's not too distracting. So I'm just going to go ahead and place all this. I'm struggling as it is. I can't imagine if you don't have like this reference of knowing where exactly you're putting your French tip. And I feel like they are not going to be even, even, but we'll see. And up until this nail, I figured it's kind of easier to just do it this way. So for this one, I'm going to be using my Sally Hansen White On. And I'm going to be testing this in a messy way, which is just like doing this, like going like so, until I have like the line. And then I'm going to be doing this all the way across, being more careful. I feel like this is the way that I would normally do it. I'm just going to remove it. I'm pretty curious about how this one will turn out. So it's even-ish, I guess. You would definitely have to go and clean that. And this one, see if it's um, any difference. Pretty much the same. You would still have to clean. Maybe I didn't push this part well enough. Like if you use this and you still have to clean, there's kind of like no point of, you know, wasting your band-aids. This one went a bit better, but still. Maybe with my like top coat that I'm going to be adding, it's going to get like smooth a bit, the whole situation. This one went a bit better. I'm just going to wait for this to dry, maybe give it a, a second. No, I'm not going to give a single go. I'm just going to go directly with my uh, top coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the edges. I'm just going to nail polish remover with my brush. Well, this is for art, painting and all that stuff. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to clean this. And I'm not really happy about this because... This one more step that I have to do that I didn't want to do. I would just rather go and buy those things and just not have to worry about any of this. Just gonna clean as much as I can. With this, it's not gonna be perfect, as you saw. It's messy and you will have to clean it after. Oh god, I have it everywhere. Then I'm going to be using a sheer pinkish. This one actually made. And I have a DIY nude nail polish if you want to check it out. This is just another brand. So I'm just going to go and finish my nails. I mean, now with the nail polish that I'm adding, it looks better. It always happens when you're adding the top coat. Like, it brings everything together. So as far as this hack goes, this is fine. I'm making this work. But this doesn't make this any easier. I mean, if you have band-aids around the house, just go for it. Nothing wrong with it, but just know that you're gonna have to make some adjustments as far as cleaning messes go. Use what you have, but if you don't have anything and you're wondering what works best for this, I would just go ahead and buy one of those things that are meant for French tips. They look cute, they look decent, I think. If you look up close, you're gonna see all the like imperfections that this method gave me but it's not that obvious I'm doing my right hand I know there are a lot of ways to make French tips a lot of people use like tapes but tape doesn't give you the curve that this kind of method will but that's like another method if you don't really care about the curve I mean having this is better than nothing when you want a French manicure but again like for messy people like me the other solution is better and I'm just pulling up like this. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this hack and you would like me to make more, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when I upload. Be sure to thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you on Friday and take care. Bye guys. Two, four, two, one. So I have one left over because obviously I used three band-aids and each one has like two ends. So yeah, I just have like five fingers. But if you find, maybe I should clean these things with Q-tips, but I'm too lazy to just grab one.